my name's Renee and this is my cash stopping journey. If you're new here, thank you so much for taking a chance and clicking on the video. I hope you decide to like, subscribe and stick around for a while. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much. I really appreciate your ongoing support. So it's savings challenge day and these are my favorite videos to film and watch. I love them. So what I'm going to do is I've kind of added in a few new challenges so and I've swapped things around a little bit so let's stump, jump into it and I will show you the changes I'm so excited okay so this week I have the 52 week no the 26 week sorry is getting a 30 let me just check my budget sheet. Hang on. Yep, 26 week is getting 30. If you're new here, I am. I live in Australia, and our one and two dollar coin are coins. So instead of putting in 26 dollars, which is what this indicate, or 25 dollars, which is what this indicates, um, I'm gonna I round it up to the nearest five. So it's gonna be 30. So for our 26 week, we've now got 100, 120, 30, 40. The 52 week is getting 50. I'm trying to do the more expensive ones earlier. Um, so that it, uh, when it comes down to the end of the year, I'm only stuffing kind of the ones that are up here, the lower ones. So we've got 250, 350, 400. I think I'll only have another one. I'll only have another 50 and then it drops down to 45. We've got 400 in that one. A dollar a day, it's getting its usual 15. I should have bought my tray out, but I'm like, nah, it'll be right. <laughs> I'm making a mess, but that's okay. And so I've got 100, 110, 20, 25, 30, 35. So we've got 135 and I've got a feeling our tracker. Hi babe. Hi dude. Are you alright? Yeah. How was your sleep? Just let me finish this video, filming this video, and then I'll make you some breakfast and medication, okay? Sorry guys, that was my son. <laughs> he just woke up, which I'm kind of surprised he's up so early, considering he's a teenager. <laughs> okay, so, uh, is that 15? Yeah. So 100, 110, 20, 25, 25, 30, 35. So $135. And the self care challenge. This is the new one I'm starting. I'm so excited. So with the 52 week challenge, I'm going to start right at the end and do. And do the 18 first and I'm gonna round that up to 20 and when I'm done with this challenge I'm gonna split it in half and um, divide it between me and my husband and it's gonna go in our envelopes and the next one I'm really excited about this is for all my lovely subscribers. <laughs> I'm gonna do a giveaway at the end of the year. Um, I'm gonna, I have a plan. I don't 
I'm not going to say what it is yet just yet, but I am going to need $250 and it will be um, drawn at the end of the year. So this is kind of a long drawn out savings. Um, once I have the $250, um, I'm not sure if I might start again to get more, but um, for the moment my goal is $250. So I'm going to put in a five today. And this is another one. This is going to be the big, big Betty. <laughs> um, I'm going to start, because I'm not getting as much money as I was hoping for my deposit. It's not going as quickly as I'd hoped and how we need it to go. So I'm going to start the $100 for, $100 for 100 savings charge. One second. Oh, guys, have you ever had that unsatisfactory feeling of needing to sneeze and just as you're about to sneeze, it goes away? Oh, I just had that. Oh, I hate that feeling. Okay, anyway. Does any does anyone else hate that feeling? Like you feel so unsatisfied because you just don't sneeze? Oh, I hate it. Okay, so I'm going to start the $100 for 100 envelopes and it's going to give you $10,000 at the end of it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start the um, $20 for 20 and I'm going to use that to fill this. So I'm not going to be stuffing $100 notes because that's at the moment in my budget it just doesn't it doesn't work. Um, and the, the, I'm finding the smaller challenges, um, the ones that engage me often and like tick over quickly, I really like those ones. Um, I think the longer drawn out ones for like that go over a year are great, um, but I like seeing progress quickly. Um, it keeps me motivated, it keeps me engaged. So I'm going to use the little the little cash stuffing envelope savings challenge for these ones. So um, yeah, so I've got nothing to put in there yet, but hopefully um, I will soon. Like for example, when the hundred for a hundred, I mean when my ten dollars for ten finishes, I might put that in here. And what I'm going to do is I'm not going to stuff this with cash. I am going to, once a savings challenge reaches $100, I'm going to pull that cash out and use that to cash stuff. And then I'm going to electronically transfer $100 into the savings account. And I will put a prop money in here. And then we'll go from there. I'll probably just use the paper prop money um, just because I don't have that many of my own placeholders yet. So, yeah. Uh, $1 savings challenge. Uh, I don't have anything to put in, but I've got 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. If you're new here and you're wondering why I'm using prop money, um, I live in Australia, as I've said before, and our $1 and $2 are coins, not notes. So instead of having notes in my binder, I'm replacing them with placeholders, and all of my coins go in this jar, which is available on my Etsy. And once the jar is full, I will take those and deposit them into the bank. And then I will put a $100 placeholder or $200 or however much it is. I'll put a placeholder in here. And the $2 one is 100 $120. Okay, that's all for that one. And then now we just have my box. I probably should have got this out all earlier. This is my 100 envelope savings challenge box. You can use it for whatever savings challenges you want. I am currently doing the 5 for 5 and the 10 for 10. So let's go towards the front. And we're actually going to finish another one today. So this will be the fifth five five. So I might actually pull those out. So one, two, three, four, five. We'll color this one in. And then that's complete. So what I'll do is I will get a marker. This is a permanent marker pen. I will put 
today's date of when I finished it. So it'll be the sixth of the fifth twenty two. And then I will come through and I will clean all this up later. Just because I don't have time today. But what I'll do is I'll pull this out. And this challenge always goes into my deposit envelope. So these ones go back in here. And I will start them again. You know what I mean about how I really enjoy the quick ones because they do go quite quickly. Like I think I've only done three stuffings of this one, maybe four. Okay, so the ten for ten one I'm putting. I had a little bit of rollover from my wallet envelopes in my um, cash stuffing video, and I took um, twenty. I think it was. Would have been thirty-five dollars out, so ten dollars each went to my kids because it came out of their envelope, and fifteen dollars came out of grocery. So I've used ten dollars of that grocery money um, to stuff an extra ten so that I can finish this next week, and that will be my first one hundred in the one hundred for one hundred envelope. So color this in. And then once I finish this one, I'm going on to the 20 for 20. And then before we go, we will actually add this 25 into the deposit. So we've now got 1,100, 1,200, 1,300, 20, 40, 60, 65, 75, 85, 95. Is that right? No. I don't think that's right. 20, 40, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100. Yeah, so we've got another 100. So next time when I do cash stuffing, um, I might, I'm not sure if I'll take it out quite yet. I might wait until it's payday and then I'll do it. So next payday I will transfer over 100 and that will go over there. Okay. Alright guys, that's it for today. So that's all my, ca all my savings challenges. So remember to live, laugh, love and when life gets hard, just roll it in glitter. Bye guys.